Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to identify and factor perfect square trinomials, okay, a special case of factoring. Don't forget to visit our website at math.serve.com for access to a wide variety of math tutorials ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. All right, so um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to consider the two forms of perfect square trinomials, okay? Um, so let's write these down forms. The first form that there is is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then the second form is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now, what do you notice about these two forms? First thing you notice is that um, they have a, a squares, 2ab's, and b squares in both of them. The first one has a plus and the second one has a minus, all right? So let's go ahead and factor these two. The factor form of this first perfect square trinomial is a plus b quantity square. All right, the shortcut is you take the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term and then you bring down the middle sign, um, actually bring out if the two signs are plus, you just bring down it. It's going to be plus, okay? So in this case, if you follow that procedure, you get a plus b quantity squared. Uh, if we apply the same idea here, um, you read the first one and the second one. You have a and b. Since the signs are different, you have a minus quantity squared, okay? So there goes the factored form of a perfect square trinomial, the two possible cases. Now the question is, how can you tell if a polynomial, a quadratic trinomial, is in fact a perfect square trinomial? All right, so let's go over the um, steps. So <clears throat> the assumption is um, the polynomial is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, okay, is a trinomial. So this is a test that you're going to use to determine if a trinomial, a quadratic trinomial um, is a, a perfect square trinomial or not. Okay, so let's indicate that this test applies to quadratic trinomials. Quadratic trinomials. Okay, all right. So first thing you're going to do, uh, every perfect square trinomial um, has either two pluses or the signs are different, okay? So the signs between the terms, between the terms are pluses or different. All right, what do I mean by different? One is a plus, one is a minus, so one is a minus, one is a plus in whichever order. Either they're both pluses or they're different the signs between the terms. Now, if you test the quadratic uh, trinomial and find out that the sign between the terms are either pluses or different, then proceed to the next um, step to test if it is a quadratic trinomial or not, which is that the square root of the first term, if you double the square root of the first term and the last term, you get the middle term, okay? So, um, If you double, if you double <clears throat> the root of the first, first <clears throat> and last terms, you get the middle term. You get the middle term. All right, so that's the um, procedure for identifying if a quadratic trinomial is a perfect square trinomial or not. All right, let's take a look at the following example. Example number one. Um, determine, determine if the given polynomial um, polynomial is a perfect square trinomial, is a perfect square trinomial. <laughs> it 
if it is factor and check your answer and check your answer all right so we're doing three things here we're identifying and then if it qualifies it meets our description then we're going to um, go ahead and proceed to the next step in the factoring which is to determine if the middle term um, is what you get when you take the square root of the first and the last term okay so let's take a look at um the problem under consideration which is uh, x 4x squared minus 20xy plus y squared okay so first thing we're going to do is do the test is this a perfect square trinomial or not so let's call this test test number one the signs between the three terms have to either be pluses or different what was the case here the sign the signs between between the two terms are different all right is that good or is that bad that is good because we indicated that earlier in our test the sign between the terms have to be positive or different in this case you're different so that is good if they were both negatives then that would be a problem all right now secondly um if we double the square root of the first and the last term do we get the middle term forget about the sign so if we double the square root of the first term and the last term do you get the middle term that's how you do your test okay so let's go ahead and do it so if you double the square root of 4x squared is 2x the square root of y squared is y multiply them to, um if you multiply them together, you get 4xy. So is 4xy equal to 20xy? Is it? The answer is no. So since it's not, what does that tell us? This is not a perfect square trinomial, so you have to be really careful, okay? So our conclusion is that 4 x squared minus 20xy plus y squared it is not a perfect square trinomial. Alright. Alright, now let's take a look at an example, another example, question number two. What if we have the following um, polynomial? For number two, let's say we have the polynomial expression 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the test to determine um, if it's a perfect square trinomial or not. Test number one, the signs, signs um, between, <clears throat> between the terms are all positive. So what does that mean? Is that a good or a bad thing? That's an excellent thing. If the signs are positives or one is negative or the signs are different, then that um, passes the sign test for a perfect square trinomial. Next thing, uh, there should be a special relationship between the three terms in your perfect square trinomial. Um, and that is, is, um, is the square if you double the square root of the first and the last term, do you get the middle term? Okay, so the question is, is two double the square root of the first term times the last term, is it equal to 12x? If it is, then it's a perfect square trinomial. All right, let's work this out. Two times three x plus four times four. Is it equal, um, actually, if you take the square root of four, it's two, so it's supposed to be two. Is three times two times three x times two is it equal to twelve x? That's the question. If I multiply this two times three six six times two twelve, is twelve x equal to twelve x? The answer is yes. 
So the polynomial passes the, the test. So we can now conclude that this is in fact a perfect square trinomial. Now, since it's a perfect square trinomial, the next task is to factor it, all right? Now, there are different ways we can factor this perfect square trinomial, but since it is a perfect square trinomial, we can use the accelerated factoring trick, okay? So let's rewrite the problem. To factor it, you simply take the square root of the first term and the last term. If the signs are the same, both pluses, you leave it as a plus, so you have not, um, <coughs> We have not 9, but the square root of 3x squared. For 9x squared is 3x um, plus 2. So you root the first and the last term. And then you bring down the middle sign. Okay, the middle sign is plus. So that's plus right there. Or another way to look at it is if the signs are the same between the terms, um, it's going to be a plus. Okay, if they're both pluses, you have a plus. If you have a minus and a plus, then it's going to be a minus. All right. So that quantity squared, that is this is your factored form right here. This is the factored form of the original um, expression. So let's indicate what it is. Factored form. Factored form. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do a check to see if our answer is in fact correct. Okay, so the question is, if I expand this factored form, do I get the original problem? Okay, so how do you expand this? Now, this is one common mistake most people make when they have expressions like this. 3x plus 2 quantity square. They say, oh, this is equal to 9x plus 4. Actually, 9x squared plus 4, and they say, oh, it's wrong. My answer is incorrect. Now, this is a, a flawed application of the properties of exponents. When you have a quantity raised to, to an nth power, it means that you multiply that quantity by itself by the number of times indicated by the exponent. This is 3x plus 2 squared, which means that we're going to multiply 3x plus 2 by itself twice, okay? 3x plus 2, two copies of 3x plus 2. All right, let's exp expand this. We're going to follow this out. First is 9x squared. All right, first, and then we're going to do outer. That will be um, 6x. Inner will be another 6x. And then last will be 4. Plus 4. If we simplify this, we get 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. Is that our original problem? Absolutely. It certainly is. So we are confident that our answer is, in fact, correct. All right? So that's that. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to our channel um, and also feel free to post comments in the comment section to let us know if you have any questions or you want to request some other tutorials to watch. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.